Hey, it's Ken Gagney with the YouTube channel Game It's here to play Life is Strange Before the Storm. But wait, you say, didn't you already do that, Ken? Why, yes, I did. In fact, I played all three episodes. I played Awake, I played Brave New World, and I played Hell is Empty. Now I'm here to play the prequel episode, the bonus episode, Farewell, available to those who pre-ordered the game or bought the deluxe package. This is set well before any of the events we've seen to date, and it features Max and Chloe back when they were just little ones. Yes, this game did come out a while ago. In fact, the sequel is coming out in September, and the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit are still to be played. I'm a little behind, but I wanted to be complete about this series. Let's find out what's inside the box. My, how statuesque. Who could this be? Is this Rachel Amber? Oh, wait, no, we're pulling back. Oh god, I see two, maybe three of them, and they are tied to what is likely to be an untimely demise. <laughs> oh, Ready? I my. guess. But isn't your mom going to freak? She's a super She's freak. She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. She'll be downstairs. I bet with she'll a notice a hole in the floor. Shop back. Trust in science, Max. Science. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> Language. So this is how she got her start, huh? Oh, dear. Run away! I just feel like something you need to be doing inside. Can you just go outside to the driveway and put it on the pavement? Seems like a typical summer activity, right? Blowing crap up. Oh, we got a false start here. Now you can never approach it. Oh, or it will approach you. That was appalling. Like something out of Silent Hill, really. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. Wait, the bed doesn't go there. Uh, I will choose rightly. You're insane. That explosion was massive. Mom is you gonna say that like kill you. Bad thing. Pretty no. sure your mom would think so. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me is to she get even rid of my home? old junk, she never specified how. Would you be doing that if she was but home? I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. Oh, exciting! I'll be excavating the closet. With my if excavator. You see anything else to trash? Help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Oh boy, we get to clean. Maybe we'll find out how the bed ended up where it is in the future. Squeenix presents... A cleaning simulator. Don your Feels Oculus like Rift. I spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. You're only 13, that's not saying a lot. I can't believe those days are all over now. What? The dark room hasn't happened yet. Don't, don't count her out just yet. Oh, life is over. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. How far away is Seattle? And it's not like you have to but book a flight. How do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? Oh. Just get it over with. Rip the band-aid off. help Chloe with her cleaning. That's right. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look. As priorities go, cleaning definitely comes fast, and there's so much to look at. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. Ooh, a comic strip, The Dr. Adventures Chloe of Supermax Stein. and Dr. Chloenstein. Our crime fighting has really soared since you created these rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight does tend to make things easier. Dr. Cloenstein, where'd she go? Hmm, a cliffhanger for sure. Unicorn. Clothes? That's definitely Chloe's looking clothes. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Sounds fantastic! Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, wasn't that her dog or cat? Oh, poor animal. This was our first unsupervised concert together. Wait, how old are it you? It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? What happened the next morning? The sickest. I was vomiting everywhere. I've been working everywhere. on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> You've been practicing that, huh? 
Oh, even you? a reflection in the mirror. Any new moves? Uh, uh, I don't like being put on the spot when it comes to dancing, yeah, but sure. Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. Mm, better keep working on that. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> all right. Back to the junk mines. Yeah, you don't want to use up all your air guitar. It's a limited supply. All right. Yes, let's look at the board game. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. Oopsies. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Hmm. If it's missing pieces, then it's pretty pointless. Might as well get rid of it no matter how much fun it is. Goodbye, oopsies. What are you doing? Uh, excuse Adding me. Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Oh, and that happened. It doesn't matter Chloe, who wins. We haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. At least. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. <sighs> My commanding, aren't you? We're never going to get anything done around here. Whatever. I can see why Chloe has such a hard time cleaning out her room. Ooh, new dialogue. <laughs> Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you. Oh, almighty glowy bear. All hail the glowy bear. That sounds terrifying. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in P.E., though. Wow, she used to be a straight-A student. That's amazing. Oh, before the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Poor kiddo. Everything just started going to pieces. What have we here? The Menagerie of Magic. Which was later refilmed to be part of the cage of Chloe's magic. magic phase with all my fingers intact. Yeah, now she's moved on to fireworks. That's much safer. This seems like a good candidate. Poof! It's gonna disappear. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? Uh, your magic. You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. You can't blame me for that. you saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Wow. Okay. I like how evasive you are. Bordering on passive-aggressive. You know, trying to clean a place like this is just exhausting. I think I need a nap after all this. I guess Chloe wants to keep the magic alive. Well, if you really want to keep the magic alive, let's hop into bed. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Just like a country song. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? Whoa, existential. She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Do you have to go? Can't you just move in with Chloe and finish your schooling here or something? So many hours, so many mornings spent in this room. We've been back here so many times in these series of games. We can't stay. Eventually we need to get up and move along. Alright, what else do we have here? Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? It's waiting to be given to you Dad in the original game. Dad said I could bring game. it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Wow. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. Hmm. We need to keep him on his toes. So it's not being given. Oh. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Well, I can see I'm off to become an everyday hero with my camera. Actually, it's kind of cool. The photo? Really? It's not that great a selfie, as far as selfies go. 
The fact that it's a Polaroid might be neat. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Oh, that's when she got into the Academy. D Director of Admissions Marco Gonzalez. Much better than that jerk. I the still principal. can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. It sounds like you haven't talked what yet about, about school. The students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Oh, that was evasive. What's going on there? Mm -hmm. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? Talk to me. I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Ouch. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate fake people. You're real. Oh. Thanks. Well, thank you. That actually is quite the compliment. I'm sorry, there aren't more re real people at Blackwell. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. A three-ring binder. Exciting. What else do we have here? Mr. Sharky! I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. Well, off it goes. No way. You can't get rid of a stuffed animal. I remember how traumatic that was for me. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, Ooh. I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. Well said. <sighs> Sorry, chum. Ah, word choice. That's better. I'm glad that all three of you are getting along okay. now. Whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash. Oh, I'm not her. done. I'm looking at everything. Chloe's been beating me for a while. Ouch. That growth spurt could come any day now. Yeah, keep waiting. What else we got here? Should I look at Mr. Sharky again? Maybe later. Ooh, what's in the drawer? It's like an undrawing. What is that? We bought this as a gag years ago. But what is it? I honestly can't believe Like Chloe a top? Is it, are you supposed to spin it? Mm, let's find out by trying to get rid of it. What about this half eaten jawbreaker? Ew. The serious bio. It's a resident you evil. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Ugh. Seriously? That sounds unsanitary. Ugh. The never-ending candy lives on. Ugh, see? Neither of you are fond of it. Okay, I'm glad we're getting rid of that, at least. I think we are. You seem to put it in the wrong box, I think. Wait, what's going on here? A hoodie? I've always had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Yeah, eventually you'll have to, but today, of all days? What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake. It's like right? a Gryffindor no. sweater. Come on. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. Like my heart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Oh, Chloe, what's going on there? I can see you don't want to get rid of it. You feel like you have to. But you don't. Maybe I'll just take it home and cuddle with it. Remind me of you when I'm gone. Baseball cards? Magic the Gathering? Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Okay, those have some uh, modifications made to Shady Mesh and Abe. Mm. Oh, and that happened. How about these boy band trading cards? Seriously? Super cringe. Ultra tops are yeah, clear. And hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Hmm. Hilarious. Maybe once upon a time. Or we could just stand here. You're just going to awkwardly wait for me to say something, aren't you, Chloe? Just expectantly needing some sort of affirmation. Well, I won't keep you waiting. <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were ten. Yeah. Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Oh, what else do you have in that drawer? Boy toys. Interesting. 
and compact discs. How quaint. Right next to your floppy disks. I guess these really are pieces of our past. Then again, so is this whole room. Pretty much every moment of your life is part of the past. Now let's... No, People not the say binder. a lot of things about the Prescott We already know family, all about the Prescotts. Thank you very much. This is pretty cool. Let's look at the shark. I'd rather talk to the sh about the shark than don't Nathan. Don't messing with Mr. Sharky. That's right. You don't mess with Mr. Sharky. Now let's look at that skateboard. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Yeah, more less likely to crack open Chloe's your head. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Not just nerds. I did that for a long time. It's hard to get rid of. You Live spent fast, so much money on them. Die young and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Oof, many pieces. Bleh. All right, I think that is everything. Unless we want to re-examine anything, but I don't think we do. I think we are ready to move on from the cleaning agenda and see what else this farewell prequel holds for us. Let's get some dialogue. Uh, hello. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. That's right. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was <clears throat> hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Mm, B right. for effort. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? Brown chicka bow wow. I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. No, she's going to want to know now so that she can make the last day memorable. She'll be upset with you if she has a great day or a bad day and then finds out later. She'll be like, I wish I had known. It'll be more seared into her memory if she finds out now. Make this day last. Come on. Tell her. Good. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I don't know how Holy to. Shit! I'm Max just gonna ignore that, that you were saying anything. That's what a good friend would do. When I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? An audio cassette. Although I can see from the skull and crossbones, it's probably pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate. Phase. It was not a phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. Da -da -da. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Probably not much different from you do now. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> So, you're in search Honestly, of this is important. buried treasure, are ye? Well, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, mine eyes spot two what? fair an interloper. <laughs> what? An interloper. Dad, no way. We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind, then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate king. Oh, he got into character. <laughs> oh, lame. Hey, ableist language. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. No, nice. what? To find That's the treasure not what that word means. Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, <laughs> only those with pure hearts will be able to see. What the amulet shows them. What? The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Great sign-off. Well done. Dude. That was... Something we apparently have no memory Amazing. of. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today... 
We go treasure hunting. Yay! I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. How is it that their memories are so short? Okay, what do you got? Our old sketchbook. Hey! This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Nice. Yep. Now let's see this map. The property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Keep out, Mom. Nice. All right, what do we got here? We have the Bane of Arcadia, the Crow's Nest, the Cockpit, the Galley. I don't think it's called the Cockpit. Treasure Keep. R and the Plank. Can't forget the Plank. As opposed to planking Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Nice little photos there. Oh, we were so young. Hogo. Oh, no. I thought his name was Bongo. And the gang. No bathing, no boys on the ship, no sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder, always bury treasure, always protect fellow pirates, and failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Hmm. Well, uh, these are fair. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil Commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches. Uh, Shelly? This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Gasp! We need a map to the map. Where could it be? Hey, check this out. Yes? This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? What else? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? Because if you did throw it out, it's going to be a short game. So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Where could it be? In the dirty clothes. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Which still sounds amazing, but is not a treasure map. Oh, we have some new things to look at here. Okay, we've already seen that. What's this? Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. Oh. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. <gasps> A clue. And also, these social studies seem awesome. Please try to pay attention in class instead of drawing pictures with Maxine. Hey, if we're getting the work done and we got 100%, does it matter that we're drawing? Come on, focus, teacher. Applaud our creativity. Now let's take a look at these old textbooks, eh? There can be only one, apparently. Oh, and there it is. Bingo. I thought his name was Bongo. Well, there it is. Chloe's Secret Lair, The Dark Cavern, Treasure Island, and Price Castle. Is that Solid Snake atop the Secret Lair? Kinda looks like it to me. I think that's awesome. Well, it looks like we have a little adventure ahead of us, don't we? With rainbows and s two smiling suns. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, a.k.a. the attic. Oh, Ugh. no. Why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Well, attics are pretty scary. It was. <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. See? It's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. He ran out of boogies. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Ooh, my, mice I don't mind. Time your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Sounds like a plan. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Whoa, language. I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. After your piratical this adventure. This has to be my last oh, day here. Oh, there you go. Might as well have 
one final pirate adventure. Why not just continue to have them throughout your adulthood? That sounds amazing. Okay. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Which means that's the last place I'm going, because I need to look at everything. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. She took the fall for me? At least she didn't fall down the stairs. Oh. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. Well, you can, it just won't be accurate. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. Maybe they've already been read. Oh, melancholy music. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Oh. If this is what you want, we'll find a way to make it work. Oh. Will you? Strikes? How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? You just summarized bowling. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. April 22nd, is that spring break? And that's almost like six months away. That's awesome. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? They didn't have an email Chloe back in 2008. strange when I asked her about school earlier. Who leaves their email just up on their screen? To meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Well, let's take a little peek. Her scholarship is not in jeopardy. Wow, she seems to have trouble transitioning to this new environment. She never gets in trouble. Oh. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Principal Wells being a jerk even way back when, and thank you, William and Joyce, for standing up. A voicemail. I wonder if it's still there. Oh. Well, we'll have to check that out later. Hmm. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship is in danger, but I still worry. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Hey, it's from his brother. I finally used your pressure washer today. Hope everything at work is still going well, and tell Linda I say hello. Oh. From William to his brother Aaron. That's awesome. Where's Uncle Chloe's Aaron? His mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Well, I think that's applaudable. As long as she doesn't get Aww. addicted to gum. Chloe's parents are so cute. <laughs> Aww. And Chloe, oh, because she's pregnant. Aww. Oh. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffle. Better than Belgium. No other diner could even come close. Including in Belgium. What's it's that? so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Oh. You can see how proud Chloe is to be in the photo. This bed has also moved. What is up with that? Oh, book and wardrobe. I don't think I could ever handle a real-life murder investigation. You'll pay with your life. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. Why not? They have Turkish delights. Let's go back into Chloe's room. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. Oh, that is sad. And you know it. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Hmm. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Maybe someday you will. If not, that's cool. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Oh. Well, I used to. Oh. Things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I'm sure it's all expired then. Great. I guess Chloe never really grew up <laughs> wanting to be a pirate. That's awesome. Alright, well that's everything. I guess let's uh go downstairs and see who's there. I've gotta find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Fine, into the mice and spider infested attic I go. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. 
Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. Well chosen. Because even I don't want to go up there. Ugh, monkey man. There it is. The dark cavern. Great. Oh, good job. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. Which was probably even I easier when you were eight. To stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Hey, a conveniently placed crate. How about that? Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. Wouldn't that be crate? All right, Maxine. You can do it. Yes. And oh, just jump. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. All right. Is there anything else in the broom closet we can use? Can we stack some towels? Maybe some turpentine? No. How about some toilet paper? All right. No to all of the above. How about a toolbox? Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Here's a project for you. Give me something to stand on. Oh wait, what was that? A stool? I don't remember seeing that before. This won't be big enough for me to reach, but maybe I can stack things on top of it. Or vice versa. Maybe you can stack it on top of a crate. Oh. Almost there. I just need a few more inches. You'll grow into it. How interesting that they've chosen a soundtrack not for this scene. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. Oh, I can't stand on the towel, or on the toothbrush, or on the makeup. Hmm. How about the poster? No. Anything else in here? The, the computer, the gum, the plane tickets, the trophy. That would be a strike, trying to stand on that. There's a box right there, really, I can't pick that up. Nothing in the wardrobe? I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. Oh, that just leads down here then. Oh wait, a window. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. Maybe in five years if you're lucky. If I stack a bunch of books on a stool, I could probably reach the attic. Brilliant. I'm sure that will work. Yes. Oh, careful. Huh. That is going to be a precarious perch. My goodness. I think that should be tall enough. I really hope nothing poor comes of this. Should be stable enough. <laughs> Besides, what's adventure without a little risk? Safe is what it is. It's called being safe. Oh, oh, you can do it. Yeah.